Hi and welcome. My name is Kelechi and I'm going to be your instructor in this short course to solve the Codility Developer Training Lesson 2 on Arrays. In this course, you will get an overview of my solution in solving the odd occurrences in Arrays task in the Lesson 2 using c -sharp programming language. This is the third tutorial in our Codility lesson series. So if you want to get an overview of what Codility has to offer, please watch our earlier videos. c -sharp is a powerful and versatile language. And if you are looking to take a developer test for any remote job, solving the Codility lessons would be a great help. This lecture is not a beginner's course. Some experience using c -sharp is required. However, we will soon be releasing our full c -sharp course, which will take you from beginner to expert levels. So once again, my name is Kelechi. I'm a software developer with over a decade of experience developing and teaching software programming. Let me know in the comments section how this course has helped you or if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into it. So welcome back. By the end of this chapter, we would have successfully understood the requirements of the odd occurrences in array task. We would have also created a solution for the odd occurrences in array task. So if you're ready as I am, let's get started reading and understanding the requirements of this problem. To begin understanding the requirements, let's first go to the website at app.codility.com slash programmers. When the website comes out, we need to click on the login button to access our problems. So click on login and I'm going to log in with my credentials. If it's the first time on the website, make sure you click on the register to register. So we'll click on lessons and we go to arrays and we're going to choose view. Make sure you set your programming language to C sharp. And now we need to go through the requirements of the other occurrences in arrays. And it reads a non empty array a consisting of n integers is given. The array contains an odd number of elements and each element in the array can be paired with, other, with another element that has the same value except for one element that is left unpaired. For example, in an array A, we have 9 which will be in the index position, 3 in the first position, 9 in the second position. 3 again in the third position, 9 in the fourth position, 7 in the fifth position, and 9 in the sixth and final position. The elements at the indexes 0 and 2 have a value of 9. The elements at index 3, 1 and 3 have the value of 3. The elements at indexes 4 and 6 have the value of 9. The elements at index 5 has a value 7 and is unpaired. So we need to write a function in the class solution that takes an integer array of a and returns an integer that given an array a consisting of n integers fulfilling the above conditions returns the value of the unpaired element. So for instance, in this example we are given, in this example we are given, we need to return 7 as our answer. Now let's write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. Number one, n is an odd integer within the range of 1 to 1 million. Each element in array A is an integer within the range of 1 to 1 billion. And all but one of the elements in A occurs an even number of times. So the task is simple. Find the odd elements in the array. Every other element apart from that odd element is going to have a pair and it's our task to write efficient algorithm that will find this single and odd element. So if you're ready, let's go and start building our solution out to solve this task. All 
All right. So let's begin by creating a new console application. I'm going to call it Odd Occurrences in Array. And I'm using Visual Studio 2019 for Mac as my ID of choice. When I'm done, I hit Create. So now let's replicate our solution from the Codility website. I'm going to copy it and paste it. Now I'll do some refactoring and editing to make sure that the method actually returns a value. So my solution is very simple. I'm just going to return a.aggregate and I'm going to put in two values called x and y. And I'm going to use the bitwise or operator to compare the values of X and Y. Make sure you import the necessary links you need. In this case, aggregate is from the namespace link. And yes, that's our solution. Now I'm going to edit the main class to make sure that I can run and test my test conditions from the Codility website. First, I'll create a new instance of the solution class. Next, I'm going to create an integer array called values. And I'm going to initialize it with the values that were on the Codility website. So let's go quickly to the Codility website and make sure that we've, we can grab those values. Okay, so we can see that the values are Now that I have my values array, I'm going to do a console.write line and I'm going to call the solution method in the solution class. And inside this method, I'm going to pass in as an argument these value array I just created. So I'll call sol.solution. and passing values. So that's all. Let's run our code and see how we did. And we have seven. Bravo. So what we're going to do next is to copy our solutions and we're going to return to the Codility website so we can run it against various test conditions and see how we perform. So back on the Codility website, we'll click on Start. And we click on Start the test. We're going to skip the tour and we'll get started. First, make sure to set your language to C sharp. When you're done with that, let's replace the boilerplate code here with our own code. And we'll make sure to import our system.link namespace. All 
right now that we are done let's run our code and we can see that it compiled successfully let's submit our task now and wait for our final outcome so we give it a few minutes to process wow we made a hundred percent so it seems like it's still processing and bringing up more data so we'll just be patient for a few more minutes while our submission is evaluated and the evaluation is done and we made a hundred percent we passed all sample codes we passed all performance tests and our code is running excellently so good job see you in the final section wow once more you made it to the end thank you so much for watching to the end we really hope this course has helped you the source code for the tax can be found in the description below and if you're still having any challenges please let us know in the comments below also we are adding some additional links to read more about aggregates and um, the bitwise operator in c -sharp. Also know that we'll be releasing our full c -sharp course from beginners to mastery in the coming weeks and we have a ton of great material and courses lined up to take you to the next level of your programming journey. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care.